All right, so some are saying that Egypt's stock exchange opening after this 38 days was sort of necessary or at the very least strategic if the bourse had remained closed for 40 business days or more, it could have been removed from the MSCI's Emerging Markets Index. Well, on its first day back in action, the country's benchmark index, the EGX 30, tumbled to its lowest level in almost two years. Very bumpy day. Well, now we have our next guest on. He says that Egypt Stock Exchange should have opened a long time ago. Mohammed Radwan is head of international sales at Faro's Holding for Financial Investments. He joins us on the phone now from Cairo. Thank you so much. It's six hours ahead there, but we appreciate you uh, joining us on the phone today, um, Mohammed. But um, tell me, you say it took it took too long for the bourse to reopen. When do you think the bourse should have reopened? Um, well, Lisa, the best time that the I mean everybody has expe um, thinks that the best time that when the market should have opened is the week after when the president uh, stepped down, which is. Uh, um, uh, the week after the February 11th, uh, we, we had a lot of um, attention then. The media coverage was very high. Uh, there was a lot of euphoria. Um, everybody was excited about the fact that the revolution uh, went through and they were successful uh, um, sacking the ex-regime. So definitely we would have taken a lot of uh, advantage then. But again, I can understand from uh, um, a government point of view that the security uh, issue was a, was a cru crucial issue, which, which uh, we all suffered during the past few weeks, and I think uh, this was the main uh, reason why they didn't took a, take a drastic, um, a very fast decision opening, opening then, opening then. Now, um, Mohammed, many stocks hit their down limit, their down trading limit on the day. Several bellwethers like Arascom, um, Egyptian Telecom, also hitting a down limit today. Were you surprised at some of the market's reaction? We expected the market to, to, to trade down 10 percent, which is the limit down that has been changed recently uh, due to the new amendment and, and regulations of the, of the price fluctuations that, takes place in the, uh, that took place after the opening. Uh, uh, the, the surprise came in with the volumes. I mean, despite that everybody expected very, very thin volume to take place, uh, but we've seen a, a decent turnover. I mean, relatively speaking, we, we traded almost 25, 30 percent of uh, the average turnover that we used to see before uh, January 25th. And a blue chip like Rascom Telecom bounced up from the limit down the 10 percent and ended up, ended up the day 5 percent up. So you're talking about a 15 percent spread more or less in this particular stock. Now, there is some speculation that a lot of foreign investors are pulling money out. What are you hearing, though, um, so close to where all the trading is happening? Well, well, I mean, my, my, uh, I work in a company with 65 percent of its business is mainly driven from international uh, investors, and uh, uh, we're seeing a lot of uh, foreign investors selling, uh, 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 looking for an exit scenario right now. I mean, when you lock up any any any, any rational, um, when you lock up an investor for eight weeks, definitely uh, a rational decision. It just uh, you're not under good, uh, you're good under good books. I mean, so it's going to take some time until we gain back uh, the confidence and faith in these from these investors investors again to come into the market, especially with the vague situation that uh, uh, on a political level, as well as the, most of the, uh, the problems that the economy is going to face or has been facing uh, recently, and I think it's going to um, uh, put pressure on the economy, uh, whether in terms of GDP growth or other uh, uh, indicators during this year. Mohammed, so yes, we're seeing uh, a lot of sellers coming in, but the thing is, uh, Mohammed, I think when certain yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm going to interrupt because I don't want to run out of time here, but very quickly, you see a lot of buying opportunities at this point? Absolutely. I mean, we've seen uh, a lot of uh, stocks that have announced during the suspension period of the dividends, and uh, these dividends, and they give you a dividend yield between 50, between 10 to 10, 20 percent dividend yield, and these are mainly second-tier stocks like cement, uh, some building materials, uh, oil-related uh, stocks, uh, and uh, they're mainly governmentally owned, uh, but they have performed very well today, and most of them ended the day in positive territory. All right, Mohammed, thank you so much for joining us. Best to you. That was Mohammed Rod. One. He's head of uh, international sales for Farris Holding of Financial Investments, joining us live from Cairo today.